Saluete. Welcome to this audio video lesson on Lingua Latina per se illustrata, uh, capitulum uh, se decim, se decim, um, so the 16th chapter. Grammatica Latina. So we're looking at verba deponentia, deponent verbs. Deponentia comes from depono, deponere, which is the verb for put down, right? So these are verbs that sort of put away part of their forms. They don't have all of their forms. They only have the passive forms generally, but the passive forms translate active. So let's look at some examples together. Medus laetatur. Now that looks like medus is happy or is made happy or something like that, but it just means medus is happy or uh, medus rejoices. And that's what uh, equals gaudat means, because gaudat means is happy or rejoices. Nec domum veretur. Now, veretur looks like it should mean is feared, um, but in fact, it's just a synonym for timat, fears. Okay, so again, they have passive endings. The tour is a passive third singular ending, right? Aris tour mermini enter, passive endings. Um, but even though they look passive, you translate them active. So, laetatur is happy or rejoices, veretur uh, fears. Nauta non profici. Uh, this means does not set out, so the sailor does not set out. So in other words, it's a synonym for abit, which is, goes away, right? Said ventum secundum operitur, all right? So operitur is waits or waits on, kind of a synonym for expectat, to wait or expect, right? So even though it has the tour ending, which is passive usually, it just looks passive, it's a deponent verb, so we translate it active. Laetari, to be happy. Verere, verere, to fear. Um, Proficisci, to set out. Operiri, to wait for. Verba deponentia sunt, are deponent verbs. Verba deponens est, a deponent verb is. Verbum quod, a verb which. Simper formam verbi passivi habit, always has the form of a passive verb. Praetere participium, except for the participle. The present participles still have the same um, form, looks active, because there is no present passive participle in Latin. So, laetans, being happy, wherens, fearing, proficiscans, setting out, operians, waiting, or waiting for. Atque in loco, verbi activi ponitor, and is placed, ponitor, in the place of an active verb. Okay, so again, they have passive endings in all their forms except the present participle, but we translate them active. Alia exempla, other examples, verborum deponentium, of deponent verbs, consolare, to console, conari, to try, intueri, to gaze on or look at, uh, that's a synonym for spectare, sequi, to follow, loqui, to say, that's a synonym for um, dicere, labi, to slip or to fall, so that's a synonym for cotere. Complecti, to embrace or to hug. Egredi, to go out. Uh, so that's a, that's a synonym for exire. Um, oriri, to rise, to rise up. So that could be a synonym for surgere. Um, medus, ex Italia proficiscans, made us setting out from Italy. Solem orientum, intuator. Gazes at or looks upon the rising sun. Nawis a porto a gradator. The ship is going out of the port. So notice intuator, a gradator, they have the passive endings, but we translate them active. Aliae nawes, other ships, aeom secunter, follow it. Now notice the word for it, aeom, is feminine. Just a reminder, ships are, um, you know, feminine, so that's why the word for it, meaning the ship here, is feminine. Dum Lydia, loquitur, while Lydia is speaking, lacrimae de oculis eius labunter, tears fall from her eyes or slip from her eyes. Again, labunter would be a synonym for cadunt. Medus, eam complectitur, Medus embraces her, et consolare conatur, and he tries to console her. All right, well, that concludes our Grammatica Latina uh, for this chapter. Hopefully that made sense. Hopefully you learned a few things about deponent verbs. Again, the key thing about deponent verbs is that they look passive almost always, except the present participle, and they translate active. 
Um, take care until next time. Curate vos et valete.